and welcome to Lake to Lake, a show about our beautiful city of Bellevue. I'm your host, Robin Steele. Today we're coming to you from Anatai Beach Park and we're highlighting summer fun and an important safety message. On this episode of Lake to Lake, we showcase Bellevue's new boat rentals. Meet a mom who shares her family's heartbreaking story to save lives. And see how the Bellevue Botanical Garden is a living laboratory. We start with a look at a new partnership of REI and Bellevue Parks and Community Services that provides a variety of boat rentals at Maidenbower Bay Park and here at Enatai Beach Park. There's a new partnership with REI and Bellevue Parks and Community Services that provides a variety of boat rentals at Maidenbower Bay Park and Enatai Beach Park. Paddle beautiful Lake Washington. Rent a stand-up paddleboard or a canoe or kayak, row, or even pedal your way to adventure. The boathouses are open every Wednesday through Sunday through September 2nd and weekends through September 29th. Get outside today with REI and Bellevue Parks and Community Services. For more information, visit or call. The water is beautiful but it's also a place where fun can too quickly turn to tragedy. Next, we share a deeply personal story to help you and your family stay safe this summer. He was a vivacious and super energetic three-year-old. That's a lot I feel like every mother says that their child is special, but Yuri, was super special. I think what I want people to know is how instant things can change, how instant your life can change. <laughs> I love you, I love you, I love you. It was a regular day, hanging out with friends, playing at the pool, and Yori seemed happy enough playing on the side of the pool. Um, and honestly, I picked up the life vest. I picked up the life vest and I looked over. Adults were in the pool. Kids were in the pool. He was having fun on the side and it seemed okay. And when I tell you it was an instant, there was no yelling, there was no screaming, there was no splashing, there was silence. And I literally said, where's Yori? So I remember pulling up and there had already been one unit on scene. We get there, we walk through the back. Um, and then we see Engine 5, and they're um, in progress of CPR. At that moment, all I remember thinking is, you know, um, whatever I can do to help. I do feel fortunate. The first responders were there very quickly, and they were able to resuscitate Yori, and we did get him to a hospital, but it was too late. We who work in this industry, who work in EMS and fire and first response, we feel a deep connection to the community we serve, to the families, to the patients that we serve. Um, and we don't take it lightly and we do everything in our power in that, you know, although they are not our family and stuff, we too are broken hearted when we can't do, you know, when we can't get them. As a parent, the most important thing to know is that it doesn't take very long. A child can slip under the water in just seconds. It doesn't make a sound. It's not a big thrashing. They just slip under. And if you're not vigilant, it can happen very quickly. I just feel that swim lessons are very critical, even at an early age. Um, I understand that maybe children might not learn exactly how to swim, but the safety. We have swimming lessons all around us. We also have CPR classes all around us. And just having that preparedness that if something does happen, whether that's drowning or someone just passing out, just to have those skills um, can save a life. 
So there are many practices that people can use to help prevent a tragedy like that which happened to Yori. The most important is supervision around any pool. Life jackets are an important safety piece to aid with children who don't know how to swim or for anybody out on the open water. Barriers to backyard pools to prevent accidental immersion as well as swimming lessons to give children the skills to be able to save themselves if they fall into a pool and float or reach safety. Another way of adding a layer of supervision is swimming where there's a lifeguard. The lifeguards are trained in water rescues and emergency response and they can aid in your safe swimming. Uh, it adds that extra layer of oversight of your child. Since it only takes a second or two for a child to go under, having as many eyes watching your child as possible is extremely important. That's also a reason why I'm here today is just to make sure that people realize how your life can change just so suddenly. I just don't want any other parent to experience a loss like this that is preventable. You never think it's going to happen to you. Thank you, Shazik, for sharing Yori's story with us. Next, we show you how the Bellevue Botanical Garden is providing a unique experience that connects students with nature. Use your eyeballs and tell me, is it a boy mallard or a girl mallard? The purpose of the Living Lab program is to get elementary students out to the garden. And it really is a botany-based classroom based experience for students to come to the garden and spend some time outdoors and learning science in the outdoors. What is this habitat providing for these fish? The Living Lab program is celebrating 25 years this year. I think this program has gone in the direction that we all envisioned. The kids are engaged and the teachers are just wonderful. I want you to peek more. Peek into that bush right up there. Tell me what you see. What do you see up there? Report to everyone what you see. Can everyone point and see where it is? Yeah. This was a nest for a red breasted robin. It's not just a, a one day field trip, it's an extension back to their classroom, their families, their friends. And it's a free program to the community and a lot of programs are not. So this served schools and populations that often couldn't afford other programs. I love walking around with the kids, being with them. They notice things that adults don't notice. They may notice the caterpillar crawling across the trail. So they open my eyes to the world too. So we're going to perch, we're going to stand still, and we're going to look like eagles. We hope that they can see the interconnection between how we treat the environment and talking about how um, we need to care for our environment. We want them to feel confident that maybe they can do something too to help keep our environment safe and clean and there for the future generations. Now is a great time to get outside. Here are some upcoming activities for summer fun. On July 14th from 10.30 a.m. to 12 noon, meet at the Cinder Mine Trailhead and explore Coal Creek Natural Area through a two-mile park ranger-led hike. No pre-registration is required, but groups of 10 or more are asked to call in advance. For more information, call 425-452-4195. July 26th through 28th, come to the 73rd Annual Bellevue Arts Festival Weekend. Two wonderful art fairs all weekend throughout downtown. For more information, contact Bellevue Arts Museum Arts Fair at bellevuearts.org or 425-519-0770 or 6th Street Fair at bellevuedowntown.com or 425-453-1223. From mid-July through September, pick fresh blueberries at Larson Lake Blueberry Farm. You pick berries are $1.50 per pound. For more information, call 559-274-5972 or visit parks.bellevuewa.gov. 
Every Saturday through August, take a guided canoe trip and explore the beautiful Mercer Slough Nature Park by water. Bellevue Park Rangers lead these fun and informative three-hour canoe trips from Enatai Beach Park. The cost is $16 to $18 per person. Pre-registration is required. To register and for more information, visit register.bellevuewa.gov. And now through September 2nd, enjoy one of Bellevue's lifeguarded beach parks. For locations and hours, visit parks.bellevuewa.gov or call 425-452-4444. We hope you enjoyed our show today featuring some of the reasons why Bellevue is the city where you want to be. If you have any feedback or questions for us, please email us anytime at btv at bellevuewa.gov. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with our latest video news and information. I'm Robin Steele. Thanks for watching Lake to Lake.